It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be solving a problem to demonstrate our understanding of scientific notation. Here we go. We are asked what number multiplied by the expression 5 times 10 cubed is equivalent to the expression 5 times 10 to the sixth. Here's where you're going to pause the video, do your best work, choose your answer, and then come back to see my solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So before we begin, we're going to break down this problem and we're going to draw ourselves a little graphic organizer. So often I see students just stare at the question and try to think about what it is. And then they struggle, they panic, and they just pick a random answer. But if you take this sentence or this question and you break it down, it becomes more manageable. So let's look at the parts to the question. We have what number multiplied by the expression 5 times 10 cubed equivalent to the expression 5 times 10 to the sixth. So now let's just look at what we highlighted. We're looking for what number. So that means this highlighted yellow is one of these values multiplied by this value equivalent to this value. So we don't need these words, these expressions. So this numerical expression is in scientific notation because it has one significant value to the left of the decimal as a factor multiplied by a power of 10. One significant digit to the left of the decimal multiplied by a power of 10. So we want to know what number. So we're looking to fill this in and we see one of these four is going to go in here and then we're going to multiply that unknown number by this value in scientific notation. It's going to be equivalent to, equal to this expression. Much easier to visualize and understand what we're trying to do here looking at this rather than this question. Now when we're multiplying in scientific notation, we're going to consider the factors independent of the powers. So looking at our factors, we want to know a factor times a power of 10, and we want to know what number multiplied by 5 is going to be equal to 5. Well, that's 1. Any number multiplied by 1 is itself. So we're not changing the value of the factor. Now let's erase our board, and now we're going to look at our powers of 10. We want to go from a power of 10 as 10 cubed to 10 to the sixth. We know our exponent rules that when we're multiplying a power by a power that have the same base, we're going to add the exponents. So we want to know what number added to three is going to give us six. And we know that three plus three is six. So we know that this missing power has to be 10 cubed, 10 to the three. So 10 cubed times 10 cubed, when we're multiplying, we're going to add those threes and three plus three is six. So now we know that this missing value in scientific notation would be one times 10 cubed. Well, any number times itself is itself. We can see that these are all in standard form, not written as an exponent or a power. So we need to identify what 10 cubed is equivalent to. And 10 cubed is equal to 1,000. So we're gonna take our decimal and move it. And we get 1,000. So 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1,000. So you just keep moving the decimal point. And that is answer C. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math as we're understanding scientific notation. And here where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and please come back soon.